Germany won the 2014 World Cup in extra time with a goal from substitute Mario Götze, the first replacement to score the winner in a World Cup final and the youngest final scorer since 1966. Andre Schürrler had come on for Christoph Kramer, who'd been forced off with concussion in the 31st minute, and had largely played on the left with Mesut Ozil dropping centrally. Gotze made a far larger impact, coming on with two minutes of normal time remaining for the largely ineffectual Miroslav Klose. Gotze was more of a false nine than closer, and it was his movement that created the winner. Schürrler collected the ball from Schweinsteiger with eight Argentina players, including the keeper Romero, between him and the goal. Germany had Gotze on the far left, two players more centrally, and Müller wide right. While Gotze was not tightly marked, Zabaleta was close enough to him to close down quickly. Gotze darted inside, across Zabaleta and towards the space between the fullback and the right centre-back, Martin Di Michelis, checking slightly halfway before accelerating quickly. This allowed Schürrle to hit the wide space vacated by Zabaleta. Zabaleta effectively handed Gotze over to Di Michelis as Schürrle accelerated into space, moving back out wide to try to close down the German winger. However, Di Michelis did not read Gotze's run properly and instead moved towards the goal line in a straight vertical run, allowing Gotze to find space. Schürrle managed to cross despite pressure from two Argentina defenders, including Zabaleta, and with Di Michelis in no man's land between the edge of the box and the six yard area, Gotze controlled the cross on his chest and rifled in a volley with his left across Romero. An incisive goal that owed much to movement, Schürrle's pace and crossing ability and Martin Di Michelis switching off at the crucial moment, Gotze's deft finish was a worthy winner in 2014.